drainage system types. Basically, there are three types of drainage system that we are going to discuss in the further classes. First one is a single stack system. Second is one pipe system. And the third one is two pipe system. Firstly, we will be looking at the first one that is a single stack system. As you can see in this figure, on each floor, we have the plumbing fixtures placed. And these are connected to a, the drainage from these fixtures is connected to a single pipe that we call as a common soil or waste stack. That means the soil water, the soil fall water is coming to this one as well as the waste one, the other non-toilet fixtures, the drain is coming. Okay. So that is what is the common. That is connected to this common stack and that is draining out from this side. There are some points that we have to consider while designing this kind of system. First point that is not a design point, but this uh, this point is about that for the system is suitable for the buildings less than five stories. Okay, it is best for not for high rise buildings. The buildings having the floors less than five. Second is water closet maximum horizontal distance. What does it mean? See if you're connecting a water closet to this vertical pipe. Okay, if you're connecting this to this vertical pipe, the distance between the horizontal distance between the WC and the pipe should not be more than 2.4, 2400. Okay, it has to be less than 2.4, not more than 2.4, 2400 mm. Other fixtures maximum horizontal distance is 3.5. Now, other than WC, other than WC, we have different fixtures, floor traps, uh, shower, wash basin. Okay, so there we have a limit of 3.5 meters or 3500 mm. Okay, picture layout should be repetitive vertically. That means the building has a typical plumbing layout. Okay, on the same floor, you must have the washrooms. Fourth point, no offset in the stack is allowed. No offset means, see in this case, the pipe is running straight, right? The pipe is running straight. So if there is an offset to the change in the layout, so that this offset is not allowed. It has to run straight. It has to run straight. If there is a condition, so you have to take a different pipe, but no offset is allowed, okay? Vertical distance between the waste and the soil branch connection ranges from 200 to 611. So what does it mean? See, there are two connections. For example, if you see on this floor, okay, if you see on this floor, there is a connection of the waste pipe and there's a connection of the soil pipe to this common stack, okay? So there there will be a distance between these two connections see if below connection is for the waste above connection is for the soil right so what what it is saying vertical distance between the waste and the soil branch connection ranges minimum 200 not more than 600 so there there has to be a difference between center to center that is 200 minimum okay that we have to keep in mind Vertical distance between lowest connection and the invert of the drain shall not be more than 2.5, okay? If you see, this is the last, second last floor. This is the ground floor and this is the first floor, right? After this first floor, the ground floor fixtures are not connected to this vertical pipe. Why? Because we have to maintain a distance of 2.5 mm minimum. Okay, so if you see the pipe is going like this, right? So the distance from this invert of this pipe to the connection of the second last floor, this has to be a minimum distance of 2.5. Okay, to have a uniform flow. Okay, to, to reduce the pressure transient 
if you connect these lower these ground floor level fixtures to this vertical pipe there will be blockages there will be blockages over here so that is why it is not recommended to connect the ground level uh, plumbing fixtures to this vertical stack that has to be connected on the horizontal branch drain okay so these are the six points that we have to consider while designing a single stack system.